Once again, we're back with one of the most requested things on this channel, pickup videos. So hey. today I'm gonna do a pickup video. I just went for a run. Did you though? <laughs> That's where you were this whole time? For like a year. That was a long run. It was so long. Welcome back, Mort. It's good to see ya. Oh wait, hang on. There, it's my, I'm off frame over here with my, my hand. Good to be here. Riff and Mort. Riff and more and riff and more. Riff and more and riff and more. Talking about stuff that they got out on the hunt. Games and toys that you wanna know. It's the Riff and Morty Show. Riff and Morty. All right, Mort is back. It's been a while, but we're happy to. Are you happy to be back, dude? So happy to be back. Yeah, we're at, I, we we still talk all the time, and we've been. I keep wanting, messaging you, and it was like, oh lot. man, I can't wait for us to shoot this new video. A lot of it's messaging. Awesome. But I want to start with a gift. I'm a generous man. Thank you. Uh, and so is it for me? Number one, my family just moved, uh, and in the recesses of the garage, yes. basement, and. Yes attic we have all of this kind of stuff is that for me and you said that you like toys and i do like toys i do, i they still have dust on them these are some gi joe toys take a look oh thank you to very much big ben and whiteout and major blood and rock viper these are beautiful i thought you'd dig them and they're so. in good condition yeah, yeah thank yeah. you for these dude i appreciate that very much well this you're welcome makes my day man. you're welcome what's your favorite gi joe character um who cares let me show you some other stuff i got you but i've got a box a VHS stuff. Thank you. So I know that you're into extreme sports. So big Wednesday. Dude, big Wednesday is actually a big deal to me. It's about one of the biggest surf days of all time. Not it's called big Wednesday. Surf days or surf movies? Surf days, but turned into a movie. I like it was, was known okay. as big Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Did you see the sequel? Uh, point break. A little Thursday. I'm sorry. Here we go. Oh! King Kong. My kids classic? just saw this and they cried. Oh, they did. Now I know that you're a big fitness guy. And so we have also sweating to the old. Yo, I didn't realize how good the box art is on these. Pretty amazing. Beautiful. Uh, also, uh, a couple of classic comedies here for you. Groundhog Day and Meet the Parents. Oh, Meet the Parents. Yeah, I learned a lot of ways to get around curse words with this movie. Yeah, and speaking of getting around curse words, Veggie Tales. Nothing like Veggie Tales. Look at the cassette that it is. How cool is that? You know what it's got to be? Veggie Tales. Ah, love that show. And then lastly, some Star Wars VHS. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I like these covers. The only, these two. The only editing we did on this was we taped the top of it, but otherwise George Lucas didn't get a hold of it. So more did you speak? I have a little gift for you too as well. I promised you this a while ago, but I never gave it to you. I meant to. It's the Admiral Wireless Nintendo 64 controller. Ooh. So I, Hyperkin, right? Yeah, I haven't even opened it yet. I've heard, heard mixed things. I'll be honest with you. Some people okay. love it. Some people don't. Take what you will with it and enjoy it or hate it. I don't know. We'll this find out. This is the same style as the Hori one. Yes. But it's wireless. You're wireless. Let's get on with our pickups. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm preparing percussion. You're pr you're praying for percussions? Before we get started on the pickups, it's gonna be mostly his, as I said earlier. I only am grabbing a couple because you guys have kind of seen mine and my journeys throughout. I said you pretty much do it, I'll do like three or four. So go, start. Hey, you time, time for pickup video. Riff and Mort. Yeah, my brother and a bunch of his friends came over to do a game day at, our, at, the, at the garage. I still have my game room, it's in great shape. One of his friends works for Warner Brothers Games. Oh, boy. And he, he said, hey, do you, does your brother want any games from us? And so I said, yes, I want whatever you want to give me. And this is what they brought. So check this out. That's that, you can go ahead and talk. And that's the box. A whole box of games, including The Witcher 3, uh, brand new in the box. Wow. And then also, this Hitman special oh, edition. That was in there too? Yes. Wow. So, I've got some gifts for you out of this as well. Really? Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, Mort's back. Hey, can you come back more often, Mort? Yeah. <laughs> We're giving some to Gabo, so these are for Gabo. Does he know this? Yes. He knows, right? Yeah, so I, I texted him and asked what he wanted for Xbox. So Mad Max wow. and Plants vs. Zombies You're too. a good man. PC games are in here, but um, this is just really cool. A lot of this stuff. I'm gonna be at SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. Nice, promotion. If you, if you mention this video, I'm gonna be there as a vendor. If you mention this video, maybe I will give you something out of this as a gift to wow. our viewers. So you better hope not. Only if you mention this video and don't tell your friends. What if everybody mentions it and then you don't make any money? Well, to the first, you know, five people. There so. you go, first five. 
For me, uh, not too many things to show, but I really wanted to show this because I had a copy of this and then I got a better copy mm. of it, and that's Gauntlet 2 on the NES in a beautiful box. Uh, mm. The Gauntlet games, I love them on all regards, going from the arcade. Yeah. I love the NES versions. I love, I love the voice samplings yeah. of it in the arcade. Didn't I have not use... seen such bravery. I have not seen such bravery. And didn't you use those in the last videos we did yes. for pickups? I yeah. use the I have not seen such bravery. And when you jump in, it's like, welcome, warrior. That's cool. And cool music, four players playing this on the four score. I think oh, this was, I didn't know this was a four score. Oh, well, there it is on the box. Yes. Yeah. 1986, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Uh, pretty faithful to the arcade, too. That's what's really cool about these, is the arcade wasn't so advanced that it'd be hard to jump down to this. They made it good, they made it beautiful, and I'm super happy to have this. It's it's cleaner than the one I had. I had a That's box cool. that was kind of dingy. <gasps> oh, it's getting warm already. Me oh my. So I had mentioned that one of my favorite NES games. If not, this might even be my favorite NES game. Oh, wow, right. okay. Dusty Diamond's All-Star Softball. You have. Which you can see with the Blockbuster sticker and everything, but sticker. I found a great deal on a Ooh. boxed copy, complete in box, with... The manual. How clean is that? The manual. That's a... That's very rare that you find a manual looking like yes. that. That doesn't look like it's been touched. So no. this this is awesome. This is this is I mean having my this is a hard game to find in box anywhere. Oh yeah, and especially for a decent price. But worked out a deal with somebody online and was just like thrilled to finally be able to add this to the collection. I'm thrilled for you. Yeah, and uh, if you haven't played this game, I, to this day I think it it's it's like the spirit of RBI Baseball and Super Mega Baseball on Xbox One. You know those games, RBI Baseball on the NES but then, yes. you know, that kind of stuff where it's just arcadey. There's a slow pitch mode, a fast pitch mode. That's so fun, dude. But this is what Box has like, oh, I don't really want anything else for NES, yeah. but this is one I'm going to get. I love video games. Okay, so speaking of NES, uh -oh. one of the great retro revival games that came out yeah. was Shovel Knight. Um, mm -hmm. And there's multiple versions for multiple systems. Yep. On OfferUp, I found somebody selling not only their copy of Shovel Knight with the Amiibo, which I did not bring, but also a Kickstarter backer reward was this NES style box with Shovel Knight that also has an NES style Ooh, beautiful. manual. And this manual is actually different than the manual that it comes with with the game. Oh, that's cool. So Very cool. It's, you can tell that mean how much they love their yeah. retro. You know, Yacht Club Games loves their retro. Yeah. Uh, not only in the design of the game, but yeah. even like, these are the kinds of things that are so cool to collect. And they have did in the such a good uh, job to Yacht Club Games, like you said. Uh, in my opinion, probably like the top three of the past Easily. Ten, five years of retro revivals. Ooh. The Sega Master System, which I don't really have too much of, like I said in my last video, but I did recently get Fantasy Zone The Maze. So some people call this game fa uh, Fantasy Zone 3, which isn't a, its oh. actual name. But uh, this game isn't like the normal side scrolling shooter type cute em up game. It is a Pac Man style Fantasy Zone game. I always almost say Fantasy Star mm -hmm. every time I'm saying this. But I wouldn't say I like this near as much as the other Fantasy Zone games, but I do like to have ah, beautiful stuff and beautiful boxes. Wow. Clean cards. Yeah, very happy to have this. Uh, I love cutesy, colorful games, so this is one of those, man. You ever seen this one? I've never, I didn't even know this existed. I know about, of course, the first Fantasy Zone. It's such a popular game. Yes. Um, and even the second, but I didn't know that there was a maze version. It's yeah. like Pac-Man on it. Yeah, it's very Pac-Man-esque. Oh. It's fun. So uh, if you don't have it, go buy it. If you can get it for like, I'd say it's like 10 bucks. I don't really look at prices like I used to. I used to like research prices and stuff, but now I'm just like, can I get it for cheap? And if they're like, yes, I'll do it. Then I say, whatever. Awesome. Possum. <laughs> awesome Possum is a good game. I would disagree. I really don't like it either. I just I wanted to say that. I don't like yeah. that game. Cool. No. All cool. right. <laughs> So uh, Capcom yes. released a uh, Mega Man. beat em up bundle Bond on Commando. the Switch. Do you remember this? The Little Mermaid. It was the Little Mermaid beat em up game. Yes. <laughs> yes. Flounder! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but uh, Capcom released early on in the Switch's life yeah. a bundle of their great you know, fighting yeah. beat em up games yeah. like Final Fight and all these other ones. But we never got a physical one in America. Okay. But the Switch is region free. Yes, it is. It is. So if you import a game, you can get anywhere. Japan got Dang, this. Dang, bro. Look at this. Okay. And they just like, we'll see some up close shots in the B-roll, but. That's spicy. This has like posters from all the games mm. on the collection. And just, I mean, that artwork is just 
So cool. Dude, this is beautiful, bro. I'm, I'm trying to keep quiet over here. This is this is the coolest thing that I've kind of seen without diving into your stuff that I yeah. kind of see because this is so cool looking, dude. I yeah. love like a big, bold, beautiful, colorful, all that jazz. And Capcom with Nintendo logo. Ugh. Yeah, the only, the only thing that's hard for me about this is it's got tons of posters in it. Yeah. But oh. they're all folded over and oh. I don't have a good way of like unfolding them because I would love to put them up all around the game room. And so they're fun to take out and look at the artwork that's, they're really well printed. Talk, talk to Stefan, the guy who was in our last video, Archon. He has uh, some great framers. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. has a lot of people okay. he keeps in contact with. I love that guy. Me too, I love that guy. Such a nice guy. So, but for what you're getting with all these classic yeah, games man. on cartridge. That's Musket. 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 Yeah. Buy a musket. Musket. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This was actually made for me by the guy who built this arcade oh room. Oh my gosh. And Ricky and I's old pixel art logo. He made these and they hang up on the wall. It is wow. the Aaron and Ricky at the time. Legos that he made with hangies on the back. These actually go in my son's room is where we've been leaving them. I love these. These are one of my favorite things in my collection wow. because it's just such a cool thing to have. You know, this is the kind of stuff that really means a lot when you get something like this. You know, yeah. it's heartfelt. You know, he yeah. sat down and made them and put time into it. He also made some of those things back there. I mean, wow. this guy. So I'm just giving a big thank you to my friend. Oh my Joe. gosh. Yeah, really cool, huh? Those are amazing. Yeah. I made it's one like of you too. It's like a perfect low res photo of you. It really is. <laughs> and Ricky. Yeah. Yeah. I made one of you. Oh, thanks. I left it in the toilet. That hurts my feelings. Mine too. Hmm. That was my cue for you to go. Oh. <laughs> Last year, last year a lot of games came out. Yeah. We can't like get to all of them, but yeah, like no indie games at all. <laughs> Just like the uh, eShop was empty. He's like, who's gonna make an 8-bit, 16-bit retro revival game? Nobody. Nobody's making those. The Wii has a lot of games. Tons. We've talked about this before. Yep. Um, but I found this game called The Core Gang. Have you heard of this? I've heard of that game, but I've never heard much about what goes on in the game. I got it brand new for, I think, less than $10. And uh, that's like the going rate for the game. It was in development for something like 10 years. Wow. And it started development on the original Xbox, and then it was ported over to the Wii. And some of the people involved, as I understand it, are originally from Shiny Entertainment, uh, the same group groups that did um, Earthworm Jim. Ooh, so ooh, the style ooh. of the game visually and aesthetically looks like um, Psychonauts or like- It does, the, it looks very much like Psychonauts. The creature design is great. The animation's really cool. Even the voice acting's really good. Um, so the presentation and style of it's great. The problem is that it feels like it still has the camera problems of a lot of those uh, old games yeah, on the GameCube yeah, and the Xbox and yeah. PS2. Um, but it, because of the price and because I think of the uniqueness of the game, it's really worth checking out. Cool. And I've, I'm really enjoying it so far. Cool, man, good yeah. to hear. I like that. I'll give you a thumbs up, more. Yes, oh yes! <laughs> Let's move. That was the light switch. Mora! So, um, GameStop yes. is a retailer. Oh, yeah. They sell video games. What? So, <laughs> every once in a while when I go, I will ask the clerk, hey, do you have any oversized boxes that are in the back or in the cupboards or any old steel books? And I am shocked at the amount of times they said, you know what, I got something here. One of the games I found was The Liar Princess and The Blind Prince. Now, this only came out in this crazy boxed sort of special edition version of it, and I'm, I'm at the store and I see the the game on it and I'm going I've never seen this before but the art style is so intriguing and it's like a fairy tale it like it's really it's cool. this really it's told like a fable and the the game itself is sort of puzzle platforming uh, 2d side scrolling kind of stuff I don't want to spoil much about the story because I think the story is the strength of the game you're a wolf who through a series of circumstances deceives this prince character. And um, the game is about you trying to right the wrongs of what happened. Cool. So, Very cool, Really man. cool, really interesting. The problem is this game is so hard to find anymore. And uh, like copies go for like 80 to $100. Nope, I'm out. That might be an overestimate. <laughs> But it, when the game came out, it only came out not just with this, but with this too, with the uh, the big box and all the, the trimmings. So hmm. really worth checking out. Really cool game, especially for those kind of more, it's like a painterly art style. Like Braid? Remember Braid? It reminds me a lot of Braid, <laughs> gameplay-wise. I should have just said it's like Braid. I know, you know? But you never know when you go to a, like GameStop, if you just ask and, you know, the store's not busy. Yeah. You know, don't be mean, you know, and just ask. They have stuff all the time. You remember that Cuphead 7-inch I gave you? Yeah. 
Yes. That was because it was like the guy was like, oh, you know what? This is from an old promo. Here, it's a free Cuphead 7. I love Cuphead. And I gave it to you. I like Cuphead. Yes! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what is, why am I holding two Link's That's Awakening? That's the Breath of the Wild. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, probably one of my favorite games from last year. I'm with you, thank you. I loved it. Loved it, man. I, I like Breath of the Wild for the open world stuff, yeah. but I like a linear gameplay experience where it's just straight from get to man. A to B. Yeah, dude. And you think of how well these games are designed. Yeah. It's incredible how someone yeah. had to sit down and go, we can't access that area until yeah. we develop this yeah, and blah, blah, blah. This was the special edition that came out in the US. Yes, sir. It's beautiful. It came is. with an art book and uh, really awesome. However, this version uh, I got from Europe. And when this was announced, a bunch of us in America were immediately jealous because uh, this version has something that we all wished that version had, which is a steel book. <laughs> so not only does it have the art book, check this out. This is a so steel cool, book man. that looks like a Game Boy, and even like the back, like the it's got like the indentations How much was of it? the Game Boy. It was like 80 bucks to import That's it. That's a steal. It was a lot of money. But I found out about it because of um, the Facebook group, SoCal Nintendo Gamers and Collectors. Mm. A few collector buddies uh, of mine on there uh, were like, hey, like here's a link to get it, because it was like link? every uh, link to get it. That's our pun. That's I think that's three puns. Uh, you won the pun award. I actually made a pun and you didn't hear me a minute ago. I said, how much was this? And you said 80 and I said, that's a steal because it's a steel book and you just kept going. It was like 80 bucks to import it. That's a it steal. a lot of money. Let me tell you, man. It's got all these screenshots and all it's this It's beautiful stuff. And, and this game, bro, I love this game so much, Game Boy version and Switch version. Yeah. I ended up, when I beat the Switch version, I actually went so deep as to reading the entire manga about it. Oh. And man, it was dark. Really? There's a part in it where when Link finds out what's gonna happen to the island when he does everything he needs to do, he gets so mad and so upset, he takes Marin with him, and he's frantically trying to row with her to leave the island to do anything, <laughs> and she's screaming, his hands are bloodied, and he's crying, oh trying to get away from the island. Do, like, until he passes out bloodied and bruised and beaten to not have to have happen what happens. Oh my gosh. Yep. I won't be defeated by some old legend. Zelda. We were talking about Zelda. How do you feel about Amiibos? Uh, I like them more than I used to. I used to hate them. Me too. That's what I mean. Yeah. I used to literally hate them. And now I think they're kind of awesome. They are cool. Yeah. Well, I don't like figures that much in general, except for this one. Is <laughs> This is from the N64's uh, era of Zelda. Um, and this is, I used to have this, and I still have it in my game room, but it's missing the shield. And I uh, found this on OfferUp. Someone was selling it. Really? It was on OfferUp? It was. In our turf, and I didn't get it? Me. <laughs> What you do? <laughs> <laughs> I now I'm kind of like, yeah. I don't collect figures. I don't collect toys the way that you guys do. Yeah, I'll but, take it. But something like Zelda to me, this is like, I got to get it. So I, lo I love this. Yeah, game. you sent me a little uh, WhatsApp video of this. And man, I was like, oh, it's beautiful. It's so, I love this Nintendo collectibles merchandise logo right. on the back. It's beautiful, man. Good job. Yeah. I'll hang it up back there. Look good. Oh, she was playing uh, with her friends. Riff and Morty are back. I, I don't even know what this means anymore. This is our this is our screenshot right here. What's up? Hey, that's all the pickups we're showing today, but I have to say I'm honestly so happy that Mort's back. So many people have been asking about you. Uh, oh. What's the answer? What Work stuff. That's what we can say. It's work. work. I mean, this work stuff. So busy. I actually don't have Instagram anymore. Yeah. I don't have Facebook anymore. Yeah. It's just like I got rid of everything because work just got crazy. Who knew? Adults with real life obligations. And children and, and marriages. <laughs> and I've been married for almost 17 years. I've been married almost 14. Yeah! Guys! Old man! I hurt your hand. Top shoot B roll. 
Time to shoot some B-roll. It's the footage that you get when you're watching the video. You never knew bananas. I just always think of the uh, Simpsons episode where Bart rolls up apple down the bus, <laughs> and, and he's like, "Go apple!" And then the other guy's like, "Go whatever orange!" And then Ralph's like, "Go banana!" And he throws a banana down, and it just sits there. <laughs> I think it was Milhouse that rolled the orange, or Nelson, one of them. Yeah, it was either Bart and someone, and then someone. Ralph. Yeah. Good old. Oh.